Hello everyone, in this video I am going to explain what actually asynchronous programming is and how can you work out on asynchronous programming using async and await keyword. Actually these are uh, buzz words in the market and I have seen that you know, many developers they are scared of asynchronous programming. They are thinking that this is uh, something big deal or a kind of rocket science but it is not that after completion of this video you will definitely feel that asynchronous programming is damn easy now to understand asynchronous programming with async and await keyword let us first uh, try to see what is thread.sleep and then what is task.delay then we'll go for asynchronous away we'll just try to understand what is thread.sleep with this example i have a very basic windows form application and i have a simple form which contains two buttons and two labels now in this button click i am just trying to see in the load i am just trying to clear the text of both the labels in button click i am just trying to set the text of label 1 as before sleep and then i am trying to invoke sleep method and which is going to sleep for 5 seconds that is it is going to halt the current thread for 5 seconds then it will display after sleep and i have another button that is say hello which is going to display a message box saying hello so it is very simple i'll just execute this now if i click on sleep my thread got halt for 5 seconds now after 5 seconds it is displaying both the things before sleep and after sleep so actually it is not working as expected now what do you mean by that see my intention is i want to display before sleep then i want it to halt for 5 seconds or delay it for 5 seconds after 5 seconds it should display after sleep so this is the one issue now you can see that it is displaying both the things after 5 seconds whereas my intention is to display the second part after 5 seconds this is one issue and the other issue is that whenever I click on this it is halting my complete app see even say hello is not working so my ui is not responsive it works only after five seconds i'll re-execute this now you can see that say hello is working now but once i invoke this sleep button event see that say hello is not working it will work only after five seconds so this is the second issue hope you might have understood both the issues now let us address the first issue first that is i want to display this then it should go on sleep for five seconds actually it is not going on sleep for five seconds it is halting the current thread now what is that i want i don't want it to halt the current thread I want it to go for temporary sleep or delay for 5 seconds. So for that I can easily or I can use a class that is task. Now make sure that this task class to work you need system.threading task namespace and i have a method called as delay which is available in dotnet 4.5 you won't find this in dotnet 4.0 now i'll say task dot delay for five seconds dot wait now what is that i want I want it to execute this and delay for 5 seconds and wait till 5 seconds are over then execute this 
so this should address our first issue and here i'll say before delay after delay same way i'll just try to change this text to delay that's fine this is this is only for ui now i'll execute this if i click on delay you can see that it has displayed before delay then after 5 seconds it is displaying after delay so we have addressed first issue now let us see the other issue that we had now if i click say hello it's fine but once i click on delay that is i'm going to halt or i can say i'm going to run a long running task now if i click on say again my app is blocked because this is synchronous programming that means it is going to execute one task after the other if a task is taking time it will wait for it to complete and then it will go for another task now you can see this execute this click on delay now say hello is not working yet that means my ui is not responsive so what is the solution for this as we have seen the first issue we have addressed with task.delay.wait now task is a class task is a class and here for understanding task completely in depth we will see in our future videos but as of now you just think that it is similar to system dot threading dot thread dot sleep but it works as expected and it is not going to block the thread now let us address the other issue that is my ui should be responsive that means it should not be synchronous execution it should be asynchronous execution that means if this task is taking 5 seconds let it take in the meanwhile i should go and do some other task so what is that i need to do to achieve that that is damn simple i'll just remove this wait from here i need to add two keywords one is await and another is async in the method signature that's it i have added two keywords one is await another is async that means i am just telling that this is asynchronous programming you execute this task async and don't move further from here unless and until you delay for 5 seconds that means it is going to give the same output what it was giving earlier but in asynchronous mode that means we should be in a position to do some other work that means your ui will be responsive let me execute this now i'll click on delay now you see that it says before delay then after 5 second after delay now i'll re-execute this hello is working fine now i'll click on delay as this is asynchronous programming or my execution is in asynchronous mode my ui is not going to block so it is going to free the ui thread so that i can go and perform some other task in the meanwhile it is performing a delay so that means i have achieved asynchronous execution so that's it this is a basic introduction about asynchronous programming so you can start programming asynchronously with the help of two keywords that is async and await 
hope you might have enjoyed this video thank you very much